I'm back, baby. It's Cake from Poke Edit, and today I'm going to show you guys a little bit more about Poke Edit QR. Uh, I already made a video a couple days ago going over the basic features of injecting custom Pokemon, but I got a couple new features added, so I want to just go over a couple of those real quick and show you how they work. In order to use this stuff, you just need a 3DS. Any any 3DS works except for a new 3DS and a computer and a phone, uh, so you can just view the QR codes. Um, uh, basically, you can do stuff like insert event Pokemon into your game, you can clone Pokemon, uh, and you can figure out what your secret ID is and do all sorts of cool stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and start showing you guys some of the new stuff. Uh, so if you go to pokeedit.com slash QR, you'll see there's uh, four sections now. I'm going to start off with this event one. This is just going to have a bunch of uh, event Pokemon already in the database, that way you don't even need to mess around with like getting PKX files and all that stuff. Uh, it's a little lacking right now, but we're gonna keep adding Pokemon every day. And if you have any requests or anything anything like that, just uh, hit us up in the forum and we'll try to get stuff added. Uh, so let's just start with this uh, Agaslash. Okay, so you pick the one you want, it'll show the details, and it's gonna give you this QR code. So then in your game, as you can see, I got my game open here. Um, before you do any of this, remember, uh, open your 3DS web browser and click the wrench icon and scroll down a little bit and delete its web history and cookies. It's real easy and quick. Just make sure to do that before you try to do any of these things, just to make sure everything will work. So it, uh, now back on to this QR code thing, thing or bobber, my jigger. Um, so box one, slot one is where the Pokemon's gonna go, so just make sure that's empty. Mine's empty, so I'm going to back out of the PC, and then all you have to do is uh, be near the PC and click the home button, bam, and then press the L and R button at the same time to open up the camera app, and then click the QR code scanner button, which looks like a checkerboard, with some chess, and then scan that, scan that puppy, okay. And then you're gonna click OK, OK, and that's gonna open up the web browser. And then you're gonna get like a success page and tell you something fun. And just wait a second, and the browser's gonna crash, which is what you want. You just gotta wait a couple seconds for that. All right. Click OK, and then after you get that error, then we pop back into the game, and let's go see if we got the event Pokemon. I'm sure we did, because it works. I've tested it a million times. And there he is. Or she, I should say. Alright, now I'll show you guys another feature uh, of Pokedex at QR, which is the cloner, or QR cloner. It has a couple different options. Uh, there's three of them. One of them lets you copy all Pokemon from Box 2 into Box 1. Uh, so you would be careful, because it's going to overwrite anything if you have it in Box 1. The other one is uh, bo fill Box 1 and that just copies uh, whatever Pokemon is in box one, slot one, and it copies him, and you're going to give you a full box of him. And then the last one, if you don't need that many, it'll just give you this one with the first row, so it'd be like these slots here of this one. I'll show you real quick how it works with the uh, row fill. So you pick the one you want, and you get a QR code again, and you just scan it. So I'll back out here, and I'll do this row one to show you how we can scan this so home button L and R open the camera click on the chessboard scan that that little guy there and then okay okay and then we're going back to the web alright now it's gonna crash you know the drill row one filler fills row one back to the game open up PC and there it is a full row and it works exactly the same with the fill box here um, so instead of filling just row one it'll just fill the entire box one and real quick I'll just show you uh, this one is box cloner so this takes everything from box two and clones it right over to box one. So I'm gonna be doing that. So you click home, right, hold on. This is, 
you should back out of the PC before you do this. This is a good reminder. So just back out of the PC before you use any of these codes. Okay. So now click home. Now on Eleanor. And while I'm running this one to do the copy box two to box one, I will tell you guys about another little thing. Um, there's another uh, option in here called secret ID. And this lets you, if you run that QR code, it's going to take your trainer ID and your secret ID and swap them for your actual trainer. And why this is good is if you want to see, if you want to know what your secret ID is, it's, it's hard to see because you can't see it in the game. So that just puts it in the trainer ID slot, then you can see it, then you can just write it down or something. Um, any of these codes, uh, if you pop them open and like you realize like, oh, box two, I just overwrote like a ton of my Pokemon I wanted. You don't gotta worry, don't fret, just close your game down without saving. That's all you have to do. And then uh, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, all the QR codes that we provide are going to be good. They won't cause any damage. If for some reason you swap your secret ID and trainer ID and then save, and you didn't like that, just run the code again and it'll swap them back. Alright guys, uh, those are a couple of the new features we got. We got some new ones coming. I'm also working on some non pokedic QR stuff that's coming, so uh, be on the lookout for that. If you guys like this, please like, share, follow, all that good stuff, comment, wherever this video is on. Um, also, thanks to Lunar Cookies, uh, who originally designed these systems that I implemented on Pokedit. So, round of applause, big thanks. Uh, I'll have some links down to his original work, too, if you want to use that instead. Uh, but we're just taking it and putting stuff together and trying to make it a little more user-friendly. Anyway, uh, that's all for now. There's more stuff coming. Uh, I love you, and goodbye.